We need to get subscribe and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the remix button, hit the remix button. That way you'll have this video and and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad. Hi, I'm going to read an article to you. A good friend sent this to me. And I'm going to leave my opinion, and I want you to leave your comments below, because this is really tragic and sad. Um, but let me get to the article first. Hold on. All right, this is um, from the Mail Online. Mystery over why so many babies are born with the brain defect that leaves them blind, deaf, and un unable to feel pain in Washington State. Three Washington counties have reported unusually high rates of anencephaly. Anencephalic babies are born without a large portion of the brain, skull, and scalp. The prognosis for these babies with anencephaly is death. Authorities have not been able to establish a common cause for the high rate or defect. Washington State authorities are baffled after an investigation into the spike of a rare birth defect in several neighboring counties has failed to uncover a common cause. The counties of Yakima, Benton, and Franklin all reported unusually high rate of anencephalic pregnancies between January 2010 and January 2013. The Department of Health, in conjunction with local health authorities and the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, examined records to determine risk factors in the case of the anencephaly, but has not found a common cause. Um, anencephaly occurs between the third and fourth weeks of pregnancy. During that time, the neural tube is supposed to close and fold over the, to form the brain and spinal cord of the fetus. This process fails to occur in anencephalic pregnancies, resulting in the absence of a large portion of the brain, skull, and scalp. Um, most of these babies don't live, I'll tell you that. The, the rate of anencephaly is 1 to 2 per 10,000 births. The rate in Washington State counties is 8 per 10,000 births. That's actually a very high rate there. Um, Here's the counties they're saying are affected, Yakima, Benton, and Franklin, and they are near and downwind Hanford Nuclear Power Plant. So this this is what I was going to get at. I'm just curious um, if the leaching nuclear Hanford Nuclear Power Plant may have something to do with it because it, it's, a, it's just... It's gone beyond repair, and I don't think they're even trying to repair it. They say they are, and they're actually moving leaking material, and we don't know where they're moving it. So, um, and every other, I mean, I there's a site, I'll put that link up below if I can find it, where it tells you how often they're finding these leaching materials where they buried them all over out here in the desert. They're just, it's just buried, and it's leaching um, so I, I myself suspect it might be that, but it could be something else. So please leave your link, you know, your comment below. Now, um, according to the, and it says it's a significant jump for such a rare condition. Uh, so that's why they're studying. But, um, the, the, according to the department, anencephaly and related spinal cord disorder, spina bifida, can be caused by the lack of vitamin um, B, which is folic acid in the mother's diet. They, they check diabetes, pre-pregnancy, obesity, or, and everything else, drinking from public or, or drinking from a well or private sources, and nothing here in this article that I'll leave you, nothing has, have, they have not found a common link in any of these births being that way, you know, like where you could pinpoint it, nor do I see that they are looking at nuclear waste dumps in Washington State. Um, the woman, Dr. Joanne Stone, Director of Maternal Fetal Medicine at Mount Sinai Medical Center, Center in New York, told ABC that anencephaly can be caused by a combination of genetic envi and environmental factors. The interesting thing with the study is that they looked at different factors in women's histories and obesity and at a medical history, couldn't find anything that stood out, she said. Could it be a fluke? We don't know. It could take time to uncover 
some sort of unusual exposure. And right in the, there's an elephant in this living room here, which is called Hanford. And I, I will leave a link to the Hanford website. Um, so I think that that's my opinion that probably this has something to do with all the radiation that's in all of these areas here. I mean, all of it. Not that over here on the coastline, we're not getting also hit with Fukushima. And, um, but all over through here, they're, they're burying the stuff. So, um, I'm going to leave a link for this. Please tell me what you think below, because this is really sad. Now we're starting to see what's happening, you know. I'm sure we're going to see more, but this is a lot of babies dying, um, in a small area. So, um, I love you all, and thanks to my friend who sent me this link. Peace, love, and truth, and if I find anything else about this, or if you do, anybody does, please leave me the link. And I love you all. Peace, love, and truth always. Linda's out.